It's make or break time for the critically endangered species, the southern bluefin tuna. An international meeting in Sydney is deciding on a management plan for the lucrative species, which has crashed due to overfishing. Member nations of the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna may decide on new quotas or halt fishing entirely. Lateline has been given exclusive access to the special meeting, where Australia issued a warning to delegates to act to save the species or the decision will be taken away from them. Karen Barlow reports. This gathering will decide the future of a critically endangered species. Southern bluefin tuna are highly prized, but now urgently need an international management plan to rebuild stocks after decades of overfishing. The basic fact remains that the current spawning stock size is perilously low, and while at this level the fishery remains at risk. Since industrial fishing began in the 1940s, the southern bluefin tuna spawning stock has plunged to just 5%. Members of the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna are aware of the difficulty of turning that historical low around. Even in the absence of fishing, the stock would not recover to our agreed interim rebuilding ta target of 20% by the year 2020. The special meeting of the Commission is expected to use advice from its own scientific committee to settle on a long-delayed management procedure for southern bluefin tuna. A three- to four-year plan could involve changes to fishing quota levels, or more drastically, a complete halt to commercial fishing. It is Australia's view that catches should be maintained at more precautionary levels in the initial years of rebuilding. The scientific committee's analysis also indicated that while the spawning stock of southern bluefin tuna remains at very low levels, the outlook for its recovery is more positive. Australia is relying on a CSIRO aerial survey of juvenile southern bluefin tuna in the Great Australian Bight and the most recent Japanese long line data. If these indicators continue to be positive, there may be scope for global catch levels to increase under a management procedure. That optimism is enough for Australia's tuna fishing industry to call for an immediate 25% increase in the quota. The industry is part of the Australian delegation. The conservationists, who are observers at the meeting, say the tuna spotted in South Australia are juveniles, unable to breed for years. They want a total halt to fishing. It is difficult for HSI to see an option other than a zero TAC of southern bluefin tuna to ensure that all members can benefit from stock recovery within an acceptable time frame with high reliability. Japan has surprised conservationists. The country which has the largest southern bluefin tuna quota and imports 80% of the world's tuna catch doubts the recent good news. We are feeling uneasy about the ESC's optimistic outcome. Japan says independent scientific advice to the Commission this year is a complete turnaround from the results of the past two years. As I look at these results, I'm starting to wonder whether there might be some serious problems with the current model for projections or the stock assessment methodology or the Bali procedure which is based on the current model. If there's no action at this Sydney meeting, there'll be intense pressure to ban the global trade in southern bluefin tuna. The UN-administered Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, or CITES, could choke off supply to Japan and kill the industry. In Australia's view, if we do not reach agreement on a management procedure that will form the basis of setting global catch levels for 2012 and beyond, we can expect there will be a concerted effort to take decisions about sustainable catch and commercial trade of southern bluefin tuna away from this organisation. We perceive that the international community is losing patience with regional organisations that fail to meet their obligations. Lateline was given limited access to the negotiations, but the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna now goes behind closed doors. The future of the critically endangered species will be decided on here, but details will be kept secret until Bali next month. Karen Barlow, Lateline.